Hi there, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this video, I want to show you a really, really cool way of finding the intersection of two cells. And I've got to tip my hat to John Walkenbach, Mr. Spreadsheet, for showing me this one. What I want to do is I've got here a list of um, medals by country for the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. And what if I wanted to know, well, how many silver did South Korea earn or whatever? Well, you can shade a range any time and they'll show you in the name box. This is C3 that I have active depending on which cell I click on. But you can also name ranges. Now there's a really fast way of naming ranges. What you do is you select the entire data that you want to name your ranges of. And on the formulas ribbon, we're going to go to the defined names group and create from selection. And when we do that, this pop-up window comes up suggesting maybe we want to use the top row or the left column words to be the names of our ranges, which we do. In this case, so I'm going to say OK. And by doing that, now what happens is this is, no, is now gold, and this is now bronze, and across here is now Switzerland. And it's named each range. In fact, I can hit the drop-down menu and pick one, and we'll select South Korea or Canada or whichever I want it to be. Uh, gold, it doesn't matter. So why would you name ranges? Well, you could do the uh, equals to the average of, let's go with gold and the average gold was 7.2 uh, gold of the, of the top 10 countries here. So that's one way you could do that. But what's really cool is the intersect, and this is the one I got from uh, John Walkenbach. What you want to do is go, let's suppose I want to know uh, Germany's gold medals, so the 10 there, well I do equals Germany, and, it's, and now you see it's, it's selected that region, space, gold and it selects that region, and then there's an intersection here of the two. When I hit enter, done. It's 10. And so simply by typing in the, the words that are the names of the ranges, it finds the intersection and gives you that data. Equals silver China. There we go, two. So it'll find the intersection. It's a great way of pulling data out of a list very simply, simply by naming your ranges. So select your range, define names, create from selection, and then equals one name space the second name and it finds the result for you hope that helps thanks for watching enjoy the olympics and go canada we'll see you next time bye now